Well, hello there. Oh, me? Oh, I'm just sitting on a platform that currently defies every piece of physics I've ever learned. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing really good. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. I'm having a really great day. Wait, did I say that right? I have absolutely no idea. Today, we're back in the Sky Factory world, and we're standing on a platform that currently destroys every bit of physics that I've ever learned. Uh, it's floating in midair. How does it do it? I have absolutely no idea. So today, <laughs> before we get started, I want to say thank you guys for sitting down with me today because I really do appreciate it because I know you don't have to, but I'm really glad you did. I'm really glad you decided to come chill out with me today. We're playing some Sky Factory today and, oh, I got some things planned for today. But as always, I would like to show you some things that I've been doing off screen, like building this platform and building all these wooden barrels and building that sim thing and making plants some some trees. Yeah, that was a good recap. That's basically all I've done. So I have been busy, busy person. So I, what I have been doing is I've basically just been growing trees, cutting them down, getting all the leaves, and then turning them into dirt. And then using that dirt, putting that sip thing, and then making stuff. So I have a lot of cool stuff over here. Check this out. So I've got some seeds gathered up. I got all these seeds from that uh, that, stringer, that stringer thing, whatever that thing's called. I don't remember. I got all these seeds from that. And I got a lot of really useful stuff like acacia seeds, like spruce seeds, because we can bring some spruce stuff, and all of this food stuff. And this is what is actually going to be, uh, that's all this is going to come into handy today. Because the first thing I want to do today is I want to start working on food situation. Because currently I'm living off of apples that I'm getting out of these trees, which these things don't exactly drop them all of the time, which is kind of a pain in the bum. Uh, so that's great. One of the things that I was, I, you know what, I'm just going to say this. I love you guys. I really do. Thank you for all the pointers that you gave me in the comment section, even though some of them came later than others. But I want to say thank you for all the love and support you guys showed on last episode, and really just just in general in the comment section. Thank you guys for all the ideas and stuff that I just personally am terrible at doing. So yeah, I was getting some great comments showing me how to use the uh, the uh, what's it called the the the, the vein miner. Got figured out how to do that. I figured out how to do some new stuff in the mod packs and stuff later. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. By the way, one of the things that you should never do is hold your axe in your hand, turn on Vein Miner, and mine down. That completely destroys the entire platform and kills you, which, by the way, I did do. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank goodness. So, I was... I was cutting down trees, which, by the way, I first originally had Vein Miner set to shift, which is... It's not a good idea because I shift whenever I mine stuff and what I originally did when I set up this island was this is the original grass block I originally had the, the uh, planks on the full block, which is bad because things were spawning Well, I was uh, nothing was actually spawning, but I was afraid things were gonna start spawning So I turned it all to half blocks. Well, I actually put it all on the half block But while I was doing that I was shifting and I, <laughs> I clicked on the thing and all the things went away <laughs> and I died and I fell to my death. I really wish I caught it on camera. I had to take away the waypoint because I was making the thumbnail for last episode, so that's a thing. Luckily, I had already made these chests, and I had already thrown all my stuff in these chests. By the way, someone gave me the pointers to use the wooden shears. Can't remember who your name is, but thank you for telling me to do that because I get all of the uh, the leaves and these leaves are very useful to turn into dirt, which is really great So thank you so much for that comment I really do appreciate that that makes this go by so much swiftlier because what I'm doing is I'm turning this dirt directly into Seeds and stuff which is the stuff that I got in here which is a bunch of pebbles and seeds I'm also gonna be using these pebbles for cobblestone in a little bit and also some other things that We're gonna be doing in a little bit, but the first thing I want to do I want to get started on working on the farm deal So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some slabs. I've always been I've also been told in the comment section and I and I really I agree with this person who said this and I'm not gonna say the names. Hey, they made that devil recipe. That's cool. That's really, really cool. But I agree with this person 110% is that I'm, oh, this is fully puckered. My butt is so clenched right now. Oh goodness! But they say I make my intros way too long, and I and, and I don't get into the stuff long, quick enough. And I completely agree with that. I have absolutely no idea why I do that. Uh, I enjoy talking, and as soon as I start talking, I, why are you down there? How does that even work? Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, you're good. That's just well, Minecraft. Great, but I completely agree with that. I talk way too much, and when I get sidetracked, like that whole deal right there, I lose my turn of thought super easily, and I really do apologize for doing that. I guess that's just who I am. But I'm going to be setting up this farm. What are you? What are you? 
Oh, I know what that is. Gravestone. Hey, there's <laughs> there's my disembodied head. I don't remember what button my zoom function is, but that's what that is. <laughs> but yeah, I died. Go figure. That's a thing. Ah, great. If I ever find a reason or a way to get down there, I might be able to get my stuff back. <laughs> Oh goodness, which I really didn't have anything important, so it really wasn't that big of a deal. So I'm gonna make some dirt super quickly. Give me this, 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 and this, and this. And we'll put that there, and I'm actually, what I'm gonna do, because this is gonna take me a couple minutes, but I'm gonna gather up some dirt so I can start making these farms for you guys. And then, personally, this is not for you, this is for me, because I'm currently, the whole food situation is terrible, and I don't wanna have to kill myself every time I wanna regen my food supply. I think that's personally, personally, in my opinion, that's cheating, and I don't, I wanna get, I wanna get out of this with the least amount of deaths possible. So, yeah, give me a second, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, welcome back. So between the last clip and this clip, we had something happen that I was completely, to be honest, I forgot about. It rained, it checked us out. The thing collected water, which is cool, but also inhibiting my progress because I was using these to make dirt and I can't make it because it has water in it. So that's the thing. So I, well, this actually did two different purposes. It made water, which is great, and also reminded me of something that my farm is going to need water. It's gonna need a water source block. Um, That's going to be a little bit of an inhibitor because I can't think of a way to move this stuff. So I was going along with the whole idea of I needed a bucket. So it turns out, I can't make this because I don't have iron yet, and I wanna go ahead and make this unfired clay bucket so that I can turn into a clay bucket, but I don't know how to get clay. But I kind of had an idea, and I was looking through this book here to figure out how I was, I was going to get clay, and I saw this. I saw a craft a hammer to turn cobble into gravel, and then gravel into sand, and then sand into dust. And now I need dust because of this thing. So if I, if I search through here, I can then, let me see if I can find it real quick. I can find this, and then I could then turn this from if I had a stone barrel, which is made from stone and then a, a stone plank thingy, but well, actually, it's a slab, I'm stupid. But a stone slab, and if I put water in it, hold on, let me look at it. So if I, if I fire this thing up and I put water in it, it will turn, if I have water and, and dust, it'll turn into clay, which could be very useful. Now, I don't know if that means I would have to set it out and then wait for it to rain because I can't move the water. Um, so that's a thing. Hold on really quickly. Let me move you out of the way before I end up falling off this dumb thing. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so that's actually going to be number uno, which is the first thing I want to want to do. So actually, let's grab our pebbles, make it into cobble stone. Now, and then I can make this cobble stone into a furni, and now. Bam, and then I can use this furnace, put it uh, there, and then I can smelt you down into stone, and then I can turn the stone into a crucible. But I'm actually gonna need a little bit more cobblestone. I'm sorry if you heard that, that's my chair. By the way, if you ever hear weird creaking noises when I'm talking, and it's probably because I'm moving around because my butt falls asleep, and my chair is really loud. I'm sorry about that. Can't edit that out all the time, which is bad. Uh, great. But I'm gonna need to get me some more cobblestone, which means I'm gonna turn this dirt into some pebbles. Let's do it. And boom, almost done, bam. So now I've got 62 more pebbles. I also have a birch seed, an oak seed, some grass seeds, interesting. Uh, and then I have a spruce seed, some uh, potato seeds and a melon seed. Oh, and some actual regular seeds. Okay, th so those are really, really useful. So I'm gonna go put these back over in here. Bam, 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 bam. So now I actually ha added some melon and then some birch and actually some grass seeds into my collection. So that's gonna be really useful in the future. So let's grab that, turn this also into cobble stone. Boom, and then we'll stick that in there. And then I should be able to make slabs. Bam, and then I need two more pieces of cobblestone. Well, actually two more pieces of regular stone. Boom, and then this will then do bam, bam, and then bam, bam, stone barrel. Now, here's the problem. I don't exactly know when it's going to rain again, <laughs> which kind of stinks. So yeah, so what I'm gonna have to do is in the meantime, I'm gonna go work on this hammer thing. So let me look it up real quickly. Let's, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Nope, not what I wanted to do. It's black. I am so sorry. 
Uh, we're gonna keep it like that. So actually, I need to turn it back. I'm sorry. Oh God, it's still black. Holy crap! No. Not saying there's anything wrong with that, but there we go. See, my F11 is what turns it into full screen, and that's right next to the backspace, which is bad. Uh, great. So <laughs> let's go backspace, and of course the mic is inhibiting me from seeing what I'm looking at. Hammer. So I should be able to make this wooden hammer, which is just wooden sticks. Okay, so we'll do bam, and then we'll do. Oh, boom, boom, and uh, bam, make me a wooden hammer, and then I should have some more, give me, turn this cobblestone, actually, I don't need you, stop, okay, good, so I'm good, no, stop it, give me, okay, so what I'm gonna do is do this, and this should, should turn it into gravel, yes, and then I could turn this gravel into sand, and the sand will then turn into dust. Okay, now I can use this dust and stick it in here. Hopefully this works. No, interesting. In here, <gasps> it worked, yes! And then this turns into clay, I am a genius. So what I'm gonna do now is actually really simple. I'm gonna turn this, I'm gonna break this, hold on, break you. Give me some playback, sweet. Oh, everything's coming together, guys. I am a genius, boom, 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 boom. Clay, unfired clay bucket, and then we're gonna fire you up, sucker. We're gonna get you all kindled up. And I don't know if this thing has a durability, but I'm really hoping that it doesn't, uh, because that would be really bad. So let's see, do you have a durability on you? Bam, clay bucket, boom, got me some water. Awesome, so now, and it doesn't look like it's got a durability, at least I don't think it does. We're about to find out. No, it doesn't. Sweet. No, that's all gonna make lag. Ah, poor lagness. So what I am now gonna have to do is I'm actually gonna get rid of this. No, because I want to make some more clay. Hmm. So I can make more buckets. Okay. Instead of wasting this water, I'm gonna make some clay. And then what I'm gonna do now again is then make some more dirt so we can set up this farm, which is the first thing I wanted to do today, which might actually take the entire episode. All right. So now that I have the dirt, now I can get started on this farm deal. So what my plan is is I placed out this little bridge area. I know it's beautiful. It's oak wood so I placed out this little bridge deal that's going to lead over to here now what my plan is is I'm not gonna suspend this dirt over the edge because there will be no way for me to place the water source block without it draining all the way down to the bottom of the void and that, I don't want to do that because it looks bad so what I'm planning on doing is I plan on placing them above the slabs itself and now what this is going to allow me to do is I'm going to grab some more slabs and the farm itself is going to be raised up just a bit which is fine with me because I personally think it's going to look just fine so this is what my plan is so I'm gonna raise it up just so just like this and then it's going to be risen up and then I'm gonna have it laid out just like so now, if you guys don't know how Minecraft works, and I'm actually gonna extend this out just a bit, even though I don't need to, on each side, and oh, I almost, <laughs> almost ran off. That would've been really bad. So, if you guys don't know how Minecraft works, the water source blocks can go out and fertilize, well, actually, irrigate, I think that's the word I'm looking for, uh, dirt blocks up to four blocks away. So I can make it this, about this way. So four blocks in that direction, four blocks in that direction, four blocks in that direction, and then four blocks in that direction. Now this will not be my source block. What my source block is going to be, this is gonna be the edge. So we're gonna have one, two, three. Oh no, I'm gonna to have to carry this out, ain't I? Oh dang it, I didn't think about that. Uh, Give me you back. And give me you back. I can't afford to lose you guys. So one, two, three, four. Four. So this is where the water source block is going to be. We'll put that right there. We'll do bam, bam. Actually, no, I'm not gonna go bam, bam. I'm gonna get this back because I need that dirt. Oh goodness. So now we're gonna go boom, boom, and then we're gonna do one, two, three. Actually, no, I'm gonna have to go out another one. So let's do. Let's bring that there, that there. Oh goodness, this whole void thing makes things so much more difficult. And I'm actually gonna run out of dirt. So boom. And then I'm gonna grab some more. I'm gonna actually have to go make some more dirt. But what I'm gonna, but what now I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the water source block here, and then four blocks and out in each direction. It's going to irrigate this soil. So yeah, one, two, three. Let's see, one, two, three, four. So this guy isn't needed. Oh no! Oh no! Jimmy! I'm gonna call him Jimmy. Bye, Jimmy. He didn't stand a chance. So yeah, this thing is going to irrigate in four blocks in each direction. I am going to place it there. 
and then we're gonna get this thing going, but I need more dirt. And boom, done. So I have now have my little farm here. Now, the only problem I am finding with this is that it currently has a spawning pad, which is not good. And I am going to need to furnish this thing really quickly. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna to need to make a hoe. So let me grab you. And we're gonna go ahead and do this. And now this is pretty much the only time I ever recommend using a hoe uh, for connotations as such as uh, the whole. Uh, the whole thing of around the yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna stop talking before I continue to say something I don't want to so yeah hose great <laughs> Tell me up some uh, Tell me up some ground baby So the first thing I'm going to need to plant is I'm gonna to need to plant some food now I also want to go ahead and plant some sugar cane luckily. I have uh, That sugar cane seed that I don't know exactly how it works I don't know if it needs to be right next to the water source or maybe after it grows then it'll need to be next to the water source i we'll to wait and see what happens with that one. So let's go grab these guys over here. Uh, we'll grab sugarcane seed. P I might as well take the carrot seeds, not the melons yet. Uh, potato seeds, definitely. Regular seeds, definitely. Uh, oak seeds, no, not really. Uh, grass seeds, eh, not really, maybe? I don't know, I don't even know what that does. So, yeah, those should be good for right now. So let's go ahead and plant. You, I made this farm so big and it doesn't need to be that big. Bam! I just like having a... Uh, I can't plant that there. Can I plant it here? No. Clear? No. Here? No. Here? No. Hmm. Question mark. Does it have to be not tealed? Yes! Sweet! So I am a genius. So I'll plant this here, here, here. Actually, I'm gonna grab you and just get you closer. And we'll plant you here. And then we'll do bam, 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 bam. And now, bam, 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 no. Okay, interesting, can't do that. Okay, now, now there's one other thing that I wanna test out before I move on to the next thing, is can I, can I give you a little show and make you grow faster? No. Dang it! I guess I wasn't uh, provocative enough for that. So I guess these guys will just grow on their own time. So the next thing that I want to do real quick before the episode ends is I want to jump into Tinker super duper quickly because I want to go ahead and make me a, a, a twerk, twerk, twerk it, twerk it, grow. Why you no grow? Am I not? Am I not attractive enough for you? Grow, grow now. Do it. Hmm. Why you no like me? There you go. Yeah, I still got it. <laughs> I still got it. So I want to jump into Tinkers really quick before we end off the episode because I want to go ahead and get a axe online. Now, I know a lot of people will probably just say, why don't you just continue to build these things as you need them? But for me, I feel like this is going to be just a better conservation of uh, resources. Just I'm like resource intensive. I don't like re using up resources that I don't need, uh, especially when it comes to just making random tools constantly. So I feel like this is going to help me in the long run. So we'll do bam, 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 bam. And then I do believe the last one is, I don't remember. So there's pattern chest. Uh, what was the last one? Oh, I need a crafting table. There we go. Bam, bam, and boom. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and set these guys up over on this corner. We'll do boom. And we'll do boom, and then boom, and then last but not least, tool station. Okay, now the problem is, is that they're currently on slabs. So let's go ahead and grab some slabs, because I don't want that raised up like that, because it bothers me. Grab slabs, and then we'll just do this little deal here. There we go. That way I can see up on here. But now the problem is, this is spawnable, so I'm gonna go, it kind of stinks, because I only have one torch. And I want to use this torch underneath this stone crucible. Well, actually, the stone barrel, because I think I could turn it into a crucible, unless there actually is a crucible. So let me look. Cruci. Cruci. Oh, there is actually a crucible. Okay. Oh, crucible. Because what this crucible will allow me to do is make lava, which is what we're going to be using next episode when we make a cobblestone generator. That is for next episode. So I want to go ahead and make myself a tool now you guys know the gist of this stuff it's really really simple to make tools you just need to make the pattern and then you'll use the pattern inside of the crafting thing like so I didn't make the, I didn't mean to make two of those I'm, I'm, just, I'm dumb uh yeah not needed bye bye Steven so we'll go ahead and stick this thing in here we'll make it out of a tool head boom I said boom bam and then we'll make the rod itself out of wood as well 
and then we'll do the binding out of, you guessed it, wood. Now, I, I do have currently access to cobblestone, which will make the durability a little bit better, but I feel like the whole idea of just having everything being wood because of the fact that I have just pretty much infinite wood is a lot easier than me having to, you know, get cobblestone every time that I need it. If I do, what are we at? Durability wise, 57, what are you? Hmm, what's the durability on you? F3 and H, oh, it's 59. So 75 and 59, I feel like that's a, that's a fair bit better. And of course this thing will renew itself. Hmm, hold on a second. So just out of sheer curiosity, this t this tool has 120, and this tool has 35. So I feel like it's going to be a considerable upgrade if I just make it just I just go ahead and make it out of stone. And you know I can make stone pretty cheaply, so let's just go ahead and do it. I think I will. I think I'm going to. Bam. And then this thing will then go. It will jump from 75 to 128. So I feel like that's ah that's worth it. So we'll do. Uh, uh, nah, of stone. That was a terrible name. Being of stone, and now we have an axe made of stone, and I could regen this bad boy whenever I want. Of course, then it will uh, gain levels as we go because this is a new Tinker's construct, and then I could just it will regen as I as it's daytime, and I could just go ahead and repair it with stone. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's episode, guys. I hope you guys had fun today, because I know I did. I had a lot of fun doing all this fun stuff. We got things done that we needed to get done, which is the farm, and now we got a tool. Basically, this tool is just going to help me out, because I, I'm tired of making all those tools. Dang it. But that's going to be it for today's episode, guys. I had a lot of fun today doing this, and I hope that you guys did as well. And I hope you guys learned some things, especially if you guys are kind of, you know, iffy on the whole wanting to do this. Uh, hopefully you guys learned a little bit and you guys feel a little bit more comfortable actually messing with this mod pack So like I always like to say if you hated this video You know where to put it, but if you didn't enjoy do not forget to hit the like button guys Like I always like to say you guys have been showing such amazing support on all of my videos lately uh, Lately and I just want to say thank you guys for all of your amazing support guys Don't forget to post any questions comments or smart marks in the comment section down there. I love hearing from you guys so I'll see you guys next time. Peace out and hope all of you have a great and wonderful rest of your day See you guys tomorrow.